What's up everyone? I'm in the crevice of a doorway right here and today I would love to talk to you guys about what the future of data science is going to be like. Hint, it's not actually going to be about TensorFlow, GPT-3 or any other fancy deep learning algorithm. I actually think the most important skill that you're going to need in the future is understanding how to apply your judgment in data science. Let's dive into it. Do you guys remember when machine learning was really hard before you could actually write, you know, train test split, XGBoost classifier and build a model in five lines? Personally, I never had to deal with that, but I know that back in the day, it was the reality for all the creators of all these new up and coming deep learning algorithms, scikit-learn, even some of these basic pandas functions, right, that we all take for granted, all had to be built with some sort of compiler or low level kind of programming language. And applying machine learning from scratch is really hard. It's like the difference between programming in Python versus C. No one really wants to do it. No one cares about memory management. No one wants to do garbage collection. Blah, horrible, get out of my face. Anyway, as data science has evolved, we've gradually and gradually gotten better at breaking more technical barriers in AI and machine learning and making it easier for data scientists to actually do machine learning work. Now, instead of actually writing logistic regression from scratch and understanding gradient descent, all we have to do is write that one line of code from scikit-learn and it works. And so what we're seeing actually in the industry is shift into the actual more and more steps of data science being outsourced into these automated machines. Take AutoML for an example. This is like a drag and drop interface where basically all you have to do is drag some columns around, select them, select your feature variable, and then run it by all these different kinds of machine learning algorithms and then it optimizes the variables for you. So effectively, it's doing all that kind of training, testing, cross validation, and basically optimizing all your parameters. You get this perfect machine learning algorithm, just spit it out to you. So imagine that as data science is evolving more and more, this process of auto ML, which is actually called automated machine learning, which is applying ML to real problems, covers a complete pipeline from actually munging the data to actually getting the model out. So this means that by the end of the day, you'll be able to do some minority report kind of hand waving stuff to actually predict the future in maybe like the next five to 10 years, hopefully. If this is how data science is going to go, you have to wonder when it's actually going to stop. Are we all gonna be automated out of jobs in data science? Well, we can actually kind of look at the timeline. We know that model creation, deployment, and implementation becomes easier. The bottleneck from idea to production will drastically decrease. This means that the most important part of data science will be understanding where exactly to actually apply AI. That means understanding trade-offs, costs, and benefits of utilizing AI and machine learning on a case-by-case -case basis. The problems in the future won't actually be technical in nature. Rather, the problems in the future will be relying on efficiently and accurately applying data science judgment to a vast array of different scenarios. Because when you have the ability to produce and build models in seconds, the most important skill will be understanding where to actually apply them. So for example, let's say that you work for a startup that deals in HR benefits for companies. This domain consists of boring things like accounting, 401k, payroll, taxes, yada, yada, yada. You can go basically in a ton of different directions. And as a data scientist, you wanna be able to point out exactly where the startup can apply AI to get the most value out of product growth. But let's say that you have a coworker, you know, and they wanna build a model that can predict how many users will sign up for a 401k, but you don't really see how that impacts the business. But rather, you're looking at this totally other sector of the business, and you see a bunch of data entry people are hired to fill out tax forms, and it's taking them tons of time, they hate their job, no one wants to do data entry. And you know that you can apply data science and machine learning to actually automate their process more efficiently. You know that there's a computer vision algorithm that comes out of the box specifically for this situation. And then now they're actually spending like 10 minutes filling out their tax forms instead of an hour. So this is kind of where the data science judgment comes, right? You're understanding that when you could save this much manpower and this much time by applying, let's say, AutoML, computer vision, TensorFlow, you can reduce their work time in half. But maybe if you built a more detailed machine learning model, it reduces this time down to seconds. What's the trade-off of actually using generalized solution versus customizing a deep learning solution? What's the business trade-off? How much money do we pay these people to actually fill out the data entry? Is it worth hiring a PhD level research scientist to build a deep learning model to do this? Or is it worth hiring just a regular old data scientist like me to apply TensorFlow to this thing and call it a day? Companies deal with these problems every single day. Data science leaders and machine learning experts are actually hired to weigh the trade-offs between applying AI and machine learning to different kinds of projects. Most of these leaders actually have two parts. 
Their jobs are to prioritize where to apply AI. The second part of their job is to work on a high-level architecture implementations for other people to then implement their plan. You can expect in the next 10 years when AI gets super sophisticated to the point where all we have to do is sap our fingers and a program suddenly builds us a model, we still have to use our judgment in understanding where we place that model. And so as data science progresses, just remember that the most important skill you really need is situational. It's increasing your judgment, understanding what business decisions are impacted, and not even across business, just understanding where you can actually apply AI. Just point your finger towards AI, but make sure that you're pointing it in the right direction.